guys, it's Leo here with another whiteboard video. Today we're actually going to be talking about the infamous BMI, body mass index, a couple of flaws, I'm going to, through, I'm going to go through a couple of examples and um, this is essentially to show why you shouldn't take individual tools or you shouldn't use individual measuring tools in complete isolation or have complete faith in them. Um, that's usually a good idea to use, you know, several different tools to gauge results. Body mass index is essentially weight in kilograms divided by height, meters squared. So there's four different categories. There can be possibly more. Um, so you've got underweight, which is anything under 18.5 You've got normal weight, which is anything from 18.5 to 25. Overweight, which is anything from 25 basically to 30. Then anything over 30 is considered obese. Um, there is subcategories in the obese for like say um, morbidly obese or super obese or some shit like that. But um, I don't really see the need in going in that direction. So, what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at a couple of individuals here and what I want you to do is to guess where they are on here. And we're going to go through a couple of flaws as well. So, person A, I'm going to do one example in metric and one in um, standard measurement, you know, feet and pounds. So, first off, an individual that is Five foot seven and weighs 110 pounds. Have a guess at which category they would be in. Now, I'm going to write up here. Person A, their body mass index, so their height and weight, comes out to 17.2. So, according to this, they're underweight, which in most cases would be true. But, one flaw with this is, is this person a female or a male? There's nowhere on the body mass index to actually put in your gender. It doesn't ask for it at all. Now, if you are a female, you may want to look at this a little bit different to if you're a male. Um, but, consider the fact that a 110 pound female may not look like a 110 pound, 5 foot 7 male. Men and females store body fat differently. Um, genetically, females, well, in terms of numbers, have a higher body fat percentage, even though they may be as lean as a male. So that's one example why BMI is flawed. So the second example, I'm actually going to use myself. Now, where do you think I am on this? Do you think I'm underweight? I mean, I've got slightly visible abs at the moment. I mean, I'm kind of lean, not too lean, but I've got, you know, some striations and shit. It's not like I'm overweight or anything. I'm not fat, am I? I don't know. You tell me. Am I normal weight? I don't know. Could I possibly be obese? I don't think so. Well, let's work it out. I'm about 85 kilos, they're around at the moment, 176 centimetres. So that's about 5 foot 9 and I think about 183 pounds for all you using the metric system. My BMI is 27.4. According to this, I'm overweight. Am I overweight? I could be. According to this I am, maybe I need to go on a diet, maybe I need to lose fat, maybe I'm just too heavy. This can actually make people very self-conscious and make people believe they are fatter or not as healthy as they think they are. So another way this system is flawed, another reason this shouldn't be used in isolation is because it doesn't account or it doesn't really cater to trained individuals. 
So I hold a decent amount of muscle. According to this, I'm overweight. There's nowhere on the chart, on the calculation, to put in how muscular you are, what your body fat percentage is. This person here, 176 centimeters, 85 kilos. If they are 30% body fat, would the outcome be different? Would they be overweight? Probably. If they're 40% body fat, shouldn't they be considered obese? But they fall in the overweight category, right? But they're 40% body fat. That, for sure, that's obese. What if this person is only 8% body fat? What if that person's organs and bones are just naturally very thick? They're just genetically, you know, really heavy. What if they're not? I mean, I've got a pretty small bone structure. If my bones were heavy, maybe I'd be on the obese scale. So, the other thing, just like person A, is this a male or a female? I'm guessing if a female weighs, you know, over 80 kilos and is about 5 foot 9, 5 foot 8, they, unless they hold a lot of muscle, they're probably on the overweight side. I'm not trying to be sexist or anything, but that's, that's generally the fact. So, so those are just a few things that I wanted to point out. I'll zoom in now so you can see the whole thing. Um, if you have any questions at all, any other topics you want me to cover, feel free to drop a comment down below. Feel free to like the video if this was helpful. Feel free to subscribe. And as always, guys, take it easy.